What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Tech and today's my predicted lineup for Chelsea versus Chesterfield in the FA Cup. Let's get into my lineup. So in goal for tomorrow's game, I'm going to actually give a debut to Marcus Bettinelli. He hasn't played a game for us since signing in the summer. I think give Kepa a rest get him to go up against Spurs next week. Right centre back, I'm a bit torn between Aspilicueta and Javier Simons, but I'm going to go with Javier Simons in this game at right centre back. And then the central centre-back, I think it will be Andreas Christensen. I think he needs more minutes after getting a back problem, but I think he may come back for this game. And, of course, Trevor Chalabot is injured, so I think it will be playing at the centre of the back three. Left centre-back, Malang Sarri had an absolute masterclass against Spurs. He even pocketed Harry Kane, one of the best strikers in the world. No one was expecting that. So at right wing-back, I'm going to go with Hakim Ziyech. For the, for the last game when he was playing there, he, he was like in a certain amount of time when we had the ball, he was up on the right wing. But then when we all the players went back from a back four to back three, Ziyech slotted into right wing back and I thought he did a good job. In the midfield, I'm going to go with Ruben Loftus-Cheek who made his 100th appearance for Chelsea on Wednesday night. And the other centre mid I'm going to go next to him is Saul. I thought he had a brilliant game against Tottenham. I think he'll start as well. So at left wing back, I'm going to go with Marcus Alonso. We've got no one else to play. And I think he's been good. I'm hoping he can build up his confidence and do well against Chesterfield. And the right, I'm going to go with Harvey Vale. I think he'll start for the first time at the bridge. He did come off the bench on Wednesday. Didn't have enough time to uh, get his input in the game. And on the left, I'm going to go with Timo Werner. Maybe you're a bit shocked to see Werner in here. But he needs, still needs to get more um, minutes after contracting the Rona. And I think he needs to play just to get his minutes up and hopefully get more sharpness. And up front, I'm actually going to go with Lukaku. I'm a bit surprised even myself, but I'm, I think this team's a bit too strong. But I'm going to go with Lukaku up front for this game, hopefully to build something of confidence up before the big games are coming up at the end of the month. So guys, let's get on to the opposition side of things. So, our opponents, Chesterfield. In the last five games, they have been unbeaten. They've been unbeaten since September after they lost 3-1. Against Woking, been very good since, and of course they're top of the National League. We can't take them for granted. They may be one of the lowest ranked teams in it, but they could come out with a shot. In the last five games, they have they beat Kingsland one 0 Of course, a former St Albans player, Manash and Dyer plays for Kingsland, but Kingsland lost one 0 to Chesterfield, which has put, extended their lead at the top to three points. I know their league's pretty close because I've been looking at their league table. Their top scorer is someone I know very well. In the non-league, um, Kabonga Tushimanga, who used to be at Bournemouth, and he left them in the, over the summer, and he's been banging in the goals for Chesterfield this season. He's, he's already got 19 goals, one assist in 22 games. He's got a record of 99 minutes per goal, which is a very, very good record, which basically saying he scores every game. And the danger player is Danny Rowe. Of course, he used to be one of the big, big players in non-league for strikers. Of course, he had a bit of injury problems. He's got five goals, zero assists in 10 games this season when he's got 126 minutes per goal, which I still think is a good record. And the last result against... The last result, and they played on Tuesday night, if I remember correctly, they beat Kingsley one as I just said, with a Liam Mandeville goal. So my score prediction for this game, I'm going to go with a 4-0 Chelsea. It could be more, it could be less. I'm going to go with two goals from Rom Lukaku just to get his confidence up. Timo Werner will get one. And I think Saul will score as well to get his first Chelsea goal. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. See ya!